Good evening, everybody. And how are you doing? Good. Um, I understand this is a graduation, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm so I'm so confused, you know, uh, because I'm running running around all over the place, and I was in the office at five o'clock, and my secretary left. She called me. She said, "Don't forget." You gotta go to action post. So what's going on over there? <laughs> so I don't know if you could have checked your email. Anyway, I'm, I'm happy to be here and um, I just want to say to you that as entrepreneurs, you're stepping out there and you should make yourself different from a regular business person. For me, I think entrepreneurs are better than business. And why is that? An entrepreneur is someone who does business, right? But then, in, in addition to that, is that person that takes on an extra risk, is willing to take on an extra risk for a profit, right? So, you're not just a regular business guy, it's okay, you know, I'm just fine with this. You're always looking to do something more. Um, at the Small Business Bureau, our goal is, and it's also my goal, to help small businesses grow. And I, I always look at young people because I believe in any organization that you go to, whether it's churches, mosques, anything. And my favorite number is 22% of those people in there are not young people, that is a dying business organization because there is no, no plan for succession, there is no uh, creativity involved. And I, I think as, as young people, you should be thinking, how do I contribute? How do I make a difference? Not how do I make a lot of money, right? And I think in that way, you'll be very, very, um, I, I think aligned with the, with the goal of being an entrepreneur. And of course, you, you also have to remember that you've got to be creative. You know, there's a story of um, this guy, he sees his son and says, you know, son, I want you to marry a girl of my choice. Son says, no, I'm not doing that. I want to be able to choose. But I said, no, 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 this is me. This is now. He says, look, that girl is Bill Gates. Daughter. That's all. Okay. Well, that sounds good. I'll do it. So the guy went to Bill Gates and said, I want my son to marry your daughter. Bill Gates said, Who's your son? He says, My son is the CEO of the World Bank. And Bill Gates said, oh, Really? Okay, fine. So the guy now says, oh, so that's number two. So he went, he went to the World Bank, to the president, and said, can you hire my son as a CEO? And the guy said, who the heck is your son? <laughs> well, my son is Bill Gates' daughter. Uh, and my son is Bill Gates' son-in-law. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Okay, I'll hire him. <laughs> so you see how that goes? So the thought process behind it is that you always have to be driven. You want to get to somewhere, you have to make the effort to get there. All right? The Small Business Bureau um, is, is an important, very, very important agency here in Guyana, if you didn't know that. And why I say that is that our goal, we have four mandates. One is to actually promote and develop small businesses. The other is to, to participate in policy reform so that they can address issues that are pertinent to small businesses. And also, I, I, one that's very, very important is we are supposed to be looking over a program that ensures that 20% of all government contracts to go to small businesses. So if you're a small business, would you like to have a part of it, right? 
part of the plan on you. The catch is though, you gotta come to us. You gotta come to the Small Business Bureau. You gotta be a client of the Small Business Bureau. That means you have to register. And when you do that, we have to make sure that one, you have your GRA compliant. You know, everybody likes to run away from paying taxes. But no, in this case, we're gonna make sure that you're GRA compliant. Then you have your NIS, and you register. And you have all your business registration. And also, we give you a special indicator. That number is only your number. And that's what you only get from coming to the SBB. So what would happen now is that when there is a, that when there's a bid for something, and you as your company, you decide to bid for that, for that service, for that work, whatever is going on, when it pops up, that secret number pops up, that identifier. And he said, oh, there is somebody that has to be, not should be, that has to be in that 20%. So you can be included. And I, I really encourage you to come, you know, come, sit down, share, and, and let's see where we can go with this. The problem is that there's, there's lots of opportunities out there. And of course, the small business is not going to go out there and say, we got money to give you, we got grants. You know, you come and let's, let's see what you, you have to offer, and we, we point in the right direction. We don't have any money, but we have programs and there are partners, banks, that we can, we can lead you to. There are grants available, and there are also other international products that are programs, donors, that we can actually hook you up with. And just recently, we had another group of uh, angel investors coming here in Guyana. You ever heard about angel investors? They're supposed to be angels, but most times they're not. But, uh, but there's another option. There's another option there for you. And I, I want you to, you know, think outside the box that as an entrepreneur, you want to be successful. Access to finance is always an issue, but we want to help you get where you want to go. We have training programs available also. We have, you know, action. Action Coach is also one of our training partners, all right? So don't forget, SVP is a really important key that you should have to open that door, okay? Thank you.